Oh, whatever. What is up, guys? Lou's a Manic here, and welcome to a video where I talk about YouTube drama. Um, this isn't me saying, um, YouTube drama's bad or YouTube drama's good. I'm not here exposing anyone because I don't know anyone. This isn't me. This isn't like Jack Set the guy where he just sits down and he talks. This is just me talking about, talking about my opinions with YouTube drama and how I and kind of overall just um <laughs> how I feel that as the consumer of the YouTube drama how I kind of give my thoughts on it because I had, I've I've been wanting to talk about this but there have been some situations since I've been meaning to talk about this back in Colorado like way before I started making AFK arena videos and cyberpunk videos whenever this background was a bit different. I've been meaning to talk about this for a while, but I just never had a chance to. So, my thoughts on YouTube drama is pretty mixed. And here's why. As as the consumer, I am a dumbass. I am a pushover. Therefore, I will believe just about anyone. <laughs> so, that's that that's why I say it's kind of in the middle because I don't know. Personally, I just find it interesting on how a lot of these people, uh, well, okay, I'm not here to, like, trash you people who are involved in YouTube drama, because to be honest, I kind of find it entertaining. I'm like that, um, whenever I see YouTube drama, I'm like that Michael Jackson meme where he's just, like, eating popcorn from the Thriller music video. I'm kind of like that, I'm like, <laughs> yes, yeah, but the problem comes with Overall, the, um, but I, t along the lines of, I feel like commentary channels are also the big problem. That's why I, that's why I kind of don't, I don't like talking about the certain things to an extent. Because I don't want to be considered a commentary channel. If anything, I'd rather be considered a review channel, but even then, I don't want to be considered a review channel. That's, that's the problem with this channel. Um... But it's a matter of the fact that um, we aggressively shame people for supporting these people. Like, I remember, and uh, he, he, hear me out before you go judge me. I remember this whenever Melee was caught being a pedophile and whatnot. It was a matter of the fact that, like, they were, people who were still watching Melee and supporting them were 12, they, they called them 12 year olds. I'm like, so what, now they're 12 year olds? Because of that horrible thing he did before, it was like young adults, you know, or teenagers. Oh, so now the people, so now his fans are all young adults. Which, let me just say, using age as a defense is kind of a shitty thing to do. Now, I get it, I have said some shit about like, you know, these fucking 12 year olds around here. I get it, so I'm... I'm not saying I'm squeaky clean. I'm just saying it's kind of a stupid thing to use. But it's it's also the fact that like you you could check it out multiple times. There have been multiple occasions where um where it's the case of like people say, "Oh, all of his friends are or all of his fans are teenagers. Like they're all teenagers." So that would be 13 to 19 within that range. And then now, all of, all of a sudden, people are saying, all of his fans are like little babies, like little five-year-olds. I'm like, so what happened then? <laughs> you, can, you can't say that I, I do get where they're coming at. It's a matter of like before the accusation or before they were a good YouTuber, they, um, then the, the fan base were like 13, 18 to 19 year old. But then, but then now after the accu the um, accusations are coming out, now their fans are five year olds. So I, because because that's who's still willing to watch them. But by saying that, it just comes off as a bit um, to me as a bit egotistical because you're saying I'm my fans are better than everyone else because five year olds fucking suck, which I'm not gonna get into. <laughs> But something like that just seems kind of fucking ridiculous. Um, first of all, let me let me point out a f let me name a few um, weird. Let me name a few th um, drama and let me talk about my thoughts on them. H three H three versus Keemstar. Go Keemstar! I'm 
fucking hate HTHD. I was fine with it, but then after a while, I just feel like, you know, because if you ask me, he kind of rode the whole N-word train a bit weird, because I don't know if you guys remember when, like, all this shit was coming out, and then Keemstar was slandering, um, H3H3 for saying, um, the N-word, but then, but then, but then, uh, because, uh, H3H3 was also bashing PewDiePie for it, and then, and then he goes, oh, I said the N-word on stream or whatever, but, and PewDiePie did that, and I'm the hypocrite for saying that he shouldn't have said it. Well, technically, you are a terrible person for using it. No, Period. There is, there is, there is no certain set of rules where it is completely fine to say it. But he's like, yes, I understand it was terrible, but at that point, that you just say, I'm a, I'm a, it's a terrible thing I did. That's it. No buts. That 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 whole thing's stupid. Pyrocynical versus Turkey Tom. I mean. I, I got nothing there. I'm Turkey Tom's response was god awful because it was just a matter of I'm right, here's why. Alright, that's that's about it. So um And it's and it's always ridiculous shit. Um the whole Mini Land versus Terrorizer thing. Um personally I was in the middle of that one. Alright. I read if so I read Brian's thing, um, and then I read Mini Lad's thing. Brian said to not pick sides. So I was like, you know what? I'll respect Terrorizer. I'll be neutral. Here's the thing: when when Mini before, before Mini Lad and the whole Brian situation, I didn't like Terrorizer because I I understand his thing as like being an asshole, but I just didn't like the fact that he was constantly being an asshole. Now that's not to say he's an asshole in real life. It's just. In, in YouTube, I always found it ridiculous, but then now, after that whole thing with Mini Land, I'm like, okay, maybe he's not so bad, you know? That's just the way, that's just the way, again, I flock away <laughs> like those 13 year olds. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think, what's, do I even have a favorite drama? No, the only one would be that H3 and Keemstar stuff. Um, which, by the way, can I just say, I feel bad for Ela for dealing with this stuff, but... Yeah, um, even the new stuff, call me, the Call Me Carson stuff, um... I don't know, I'm waiting for Carson to respond, um... But I will say, um... The whole fact that his friends, his friends are coming out and saying, yeah, this is 100% true, um does show the seriousness of it because you wouldn't expect these people if you guys don't know the lunch club the lunch club was a group of people or like a group of friends like charlie cooper travis josh jay schlatt carson ted and i think there was one other person i i don't know i think i got the majority of it though um or ted nivison even though i i could have sworn it was Ted Division, but <laughs> we we cleared that up. So so yeah, and the 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 fact that you would you wouldn't expect people like uh, Charlie and Jay Schlatt to come out and say yes, this is one hundred percent true. Uh, even Charlie said he contacted the authorities, saying keep an eye out for this one. You know, or so, or something like that. He reported Carson, which I'm not gonna give my thoughts on, but I just want to put that out there. That's what Charlie said. So, but the problem is, is if I ha if I didn't know about the, first of all, I didn't know about the situation until like two out. Well, okay, two hours it came out, so I did know pretty early on, but not like as early as some other people were. It was like like that, you know. Which, by the way, I figured Carson would be one of those people where, like, he would be, like, allegation-free. So, like, if someone, like, sh if there was an allegation that came out and it was just like, no, that's that's not true. Here's here's the proof. Nope. It's, it's, it's looking damn It's looking damned right now. So, so, yeah, um, yeah, the problem, the problem with my... 
The problem with me in uh, YouTube drama is, like I mentioned before, I'm a pushover, so you could apologize. It could be pretty good. Um, and, th and then I'm like, okay, I forgive you, you know? Um, that has happened multiple times. Um, I can't think of any, <laughs> but there have been multiple times um, where something like that has come out. And they, I think it was Keemstar. I think, I think, uh, without, oh, uh, sorry, there was a tattoo, um, machine on there. It bothered the fuck out of me. That whole thing of Keemstar, whenever he got caught saying the N-word and whatnot, um, we got caught, when he got caught calling Alex the N-word, um, he, he apologized and I was like, okay, I forgive you. Like, um... No, looking back at it now, I'm like, you know, he's done so much worse shit. There isn't, there's no point he could go lower, even though he called Eddie Burback a fucking hack. So, no, I, I got nothing. So, um, yeah, there's probably a lot of stuff I'm talking about, but for some reason my phone is saying, um, I have certain minutes before I, before it just stops, so... Yeah, as a whole, I like, I find them entertaining, but as a whole, I just, I feel nervous, I also feel nervous in the sense of, like, maybe, um, this is gonna be taken too far, and someone's gonna kill themselves, which I think something like that happened. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> you guys remember when, uh, Patrice Wilson made the live stream that was supposed to be promoting a movie, someone said it was, they were promoting a movie, or Patrice Wilson was ending up promoting a movie, but it was actually, and it was promoting a movie, but it, it was also a message to H3H3 <laughs> talking about how bullying is not okay. <laughs> so technically, and what I find funny about that is H3H3 is calling out Keemstar for bullying, yet technically he was the one that bullied Patrice Wilson, and it's obvious by that live stream. So I just find... As a bonus, I do find H2H3 a bit of a hypocrite, um, and H3H3 is going to come out and see this, and I'm just going to say it, um, if he does somehow see this, stop. That's it. Just, just stop. Be a better person. You're a fucking father for God's sake. He's a he's a dad, and he is doing all of this shit. And you guys remember when he brought Brett Bond back into the whole mix? Yeah, he's H three H three is a father father doing this terrible shit on the internet. Worse than Keemstar, let me tell you, because he has never brought back a fucking pedophile to the internet. Yes, he is slandering other people's names, but at the end of the day, he's lis he's listening to people when he says don't do the fucking thing. Even Keemstar told H3H3 don't do that goddamn thing. So, anyways, I'm pretty sure I have like 2 minutes left, so I'm going to wrap this up. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Um, it's a click of the button. You can always change your. And you can always unsubscribe if you change your mind. Um, hit the bell while you're at it because I don't have a schedule. Comment down below. What are your thoughts on YouTube drama? Do you find them funny? Do you find them ridiculous? Or are you like me where you're in the middle? Um, and um, yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. Oh, and share with your friends. It really helps out this channel. Even though I don't really care. But hey, uh, if you guys have nothing else to do, just share with a friend. Or if you're at a friend's house. And if you want to, go ahead. Um, yeah, lose the manic out.